Hey guys, it is me, Happy Star Eric, and welcome to Dead Island 2, a very fun and unique zombie post-apocalyptic survival game. Because instead of being dark and gloomy, it is bright and vibrant. Instead of being sad, it is very fun. There's lots of comedy in this game. It has a very unique atmosphere to it, and I'm absolutely loving it. I haven't seen anything like this game before, but all of that stuff aside, I have learned something. There is a trader, and from this trader, we can buy these fuses. And I know that we need to buy all of these fuses. As with these fuses, we can open up some special rooms. And you can only open up those special rooms by buying fuses. We've just gotten here a free katana, Red's Demise. All right, so we have gotten here this new katana. Now it does 319 damage. Okay, there we go. That's so we enter this place. We have to go around the building. Let's add a fuse. And the door opened from another side. Okay, so now we have to go around. They should have here some decent loot. So I want to know what kind of decent loot we can get here. First of all, the drop kick. Oh no, lots of zombies here. Okay, so I think we can start looting that. There we go. And what do we have here? Zombie-proof Slayer Horde. Okay, what do we have inside? I'm ready to see. We've gotten some sort of a Bowie knife. Okay, it's not that bad. It does 250-something damage. It's a really good weapon. I mean, in the worst-case scenario, I can sell it. And that one fuse costed 1,500 cash. We can sell that weapon already for over two grand, so it was worth it. Well, whatever. It's time for us to head into the militarized zone. We have all the weapons we need. Oh, there we go. There is the zone. Look at these walls and everything. I am very interested to see what's going to happen there. And hey, while we are going there, smell that like button on the video if you'd like to see more Dead Island 2 videos. I am absolutely loving this game. This game has grown on me so much. Uh, I sure really this wasn't in the brochure. didn't expect that it's going to be this great. Hopefully there are no mines around this place. But yeah, I really didn't expect that this game is going to be this much fun. Quarantine corridor to the lifeguard tower. Okay, find a quarantine corridor. Understandable. Have a nice day. So it's like probably my top five oh, post-apocalyptic yeah. zombie survival game already. Way. I haven't beaten it yet, but it's it's very fun. No, nope, as I said, some kind of emergency lockdown. Okay, so as I said, it has a very nice right. atmosphere. <laughs> Oh no, I missed that dropkick. It's a zombie survival game, yet it's very fun. I wouldn't say that this game doesn't take itself seriously because I think it is definitely serious enough, but it's not as serious as other games. Like, it is serious in a different way. I don't even know how to explain it. I'm loving it. It is something different from other games and I am enjoying it. Do we have to add a fuse here? I have a fuse. Might as well just open it. Oh, oh, some sort of a special room. <laughs> yes, please. We've gotten gunpowder, metal parts, scrap. What did we get here? More gunpowder, more cash, more basic loot. Wait, do we just pick it up as soon as we look at it? Sometimes we pick it up or not. I have no idea. Well, I've gotten more stuff. Is there a huge crate? There we go. Zombie proof crate. What did we get here? A katana with 251 damage. There we go. Let's get that. And somewhere over here, we can jump inside now. Oh, man. Okay. I'm gonna keep that one more fuse. Oh, of course, the override needs a code. For later, of course. We all the time need a code. Everything needs a code. Hello? <laughs> oh my goodness! Kill Lieutenant Hicks! Why isn't it like some sort of a buff zombie? Usually, they're pretty buff. Okay, well, I'll just destroy this zom zom. Oh, this dude has lots of health. Come here, schmuck. Oh, maybe because it had a helmet. That's why it had lots of health. Die, schmuck. There we go. Grab Hicks's dog tags. Okay, we got him. I think now we have the full password. Cancel the lockdown. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, no, 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 no. You gotta be kidding me. What's going on? What's happening? I don't see what's going on. Oh, come on. Here I we go see again. there are some zombies. I'll need to get another weapon that has no mods on it. Whoa. Sorry, shut your mouth! Stupid screamer! Whoa. Okay, let's deal with these burning zombies. And I'll probably need to remove these buffs that shoot electrifying bullets, right? Because sometimes zombies are immune to that, so I'd rather have just basic bullets. Okay. Burst fire carabine. What? New gun. 236 damage. Is it better? Yes, indeed, it is better than the other one, so let's add it. I'm Ryan. Who's this? This is Warrant Officer Rodriguez. You should turn around, dumbass. That corridor is not secure. Don't worry. But it's your funeral. Out. Well, nice to meet Don't you worry. Too. Yeah, head through the quarantine corridor. I'm gonna deal with everybody here. With everyone. We have a different rifle. Maybe I should use this rifle instead. Okay. 
Here goes it is nothing. probably better. Yeah, it is better. It does probably more damage. And... Plus, it can shoot and burst. Right? I mean, we can... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's great. Is it really great, though? Wait, how about this other rifle? I want to see how much damage we do here. This one does 273 damage. And this rifle does 187. So this kind of rifle that I have here is actually better. It does more damage. It only shoots single bullets, but it's actually better. So I prefer to use this rifle instead. Okay, let's try to throw that pipe bomb. I'm sure it'll help us out. There we go. <laughs> it was good. So I'm kind of running out of bullets. Well, I have the blueprint. Stupid Screamer! There you go. Got the Screamer. Finally, the Screamer. Shut up. And we are almost there. We haven't seen here any bosses besides just one Screamer. And this weapon is really the strongest weapon that we have. It doesn't have lots of durability, but it's very strong. It is very strong. Okay, let's use the lever. There's a zombie behind us, but that's fine, probably, right? Okay, listen up. You want to head through the gate to your right. It's wall to wall puppet, so last chance to turn back. Do not attempt to enter the tower, or I'll send a squad to toss your ass out. Oh, come on, seriously? Yeah, actually, a squad of soldiers sounds pretty good. I guess so. New Slayer card unlocked. Attack zombies with low health to get a minor boost to damage. And we've gotten here a new ability, so now I can do this. Okay, I don't yell, but I just punch. Take the final section of Quarantine Corridor to Santa Monica. Whatever, let's beep this thing. And now we have to kill all the zombies, of course. Of course. Oh, lord. What is this? Slobber. That's it, we are out of bullets. I don't even know if this shotgun is worth it. Guns so far here seem pretty bad, to be honest. Seriously, weapons are just better. Using melee weapons seems smarter. Okay, I have here also a Molotov. There's also this huge guy. Whoa, we're just, we just dealt with this crusher and with this weapon insanely fast. Dude, shut your... Mouth! Finally got the Screamer. Fury Special Attack. In Fury Mode, press Q to let out a Fury Special Attack. A powerful, raged-filled zombie attack that consumes Fury. Uh, I guess it's cool. Powerful Ground Smash. Well, we will check it out. Obviously, we have more loot. I need to take everything. Toxic stuff. Okay, okay, okay. Well, hopefully, I haven't missed here anything. That's it. Let's go further. Sadly, my weapon that I have here is about to break. It's only, like, at 40% durability. Well, good luck. And give them hell from me. Thanks. Okay. Wait, what do you mean, good luck? Hello? I'm not gonna lie. It's tough beyond this gate. Hey. Okay, I almost got locked out. Middle-aged bachelorette parties. If I can survive those. Hello, ladies. I'm the big hose. Touch it. Thanks. Okay, let's start reloading the shotgun. Look at these zombies. They're just coming through. Where all of them are just gonna set themselves on fire. Okay, another Molotov. Let's set all those schmucks on fire and my pipe bomb should come out real soon. Okay, so my fury is ready now. That's good. I'm going back in the fury mode. Okay, that's it. Let's destroy all of them here. I don't really know if I have to keep fighting them or not. Okay, the dude just broke everything. Okay, do I have to keep going here or not? I thought... I think I had to keep going. Because they just kept spawning. There is probably nothing I could have done. Okay, that dude's going to explode. That's it. Destroy this dude and my fury is ready. Am I ready? Thank you, ladies. I yeah. am spent. Oof. And room keys in the fireman's helmet, please. It took me definitely quite a while to deal with all of these guys. That was pretty tough, but we destroyed all of them. That's it. Time to beep this button then. Check in at the Serling Hotel. Yes, no. please. Dr. Reed, Serling Hotel. Yes. So there are a few things that I'd like to do now. I'd like to find a workbench to repair my weapons. So far, I have nothing. We have a crowbar and I have no space in my inventory. This zombie axe is really good. I need to do something about it. I need to start using the zombie axe. It looks great. <laughs> you gotta admit it. Okay, that's it. I don't think there's anything else that I've missed. Ocean Avenue. Ocean Avenue. Almost there. This is nice. Oh, quiet is good. I like quiet. Yep. 
I don't think I should have jinxed it as something's going to happen. I'm almost certain about it. Some dude's just gonna jump out of nowhere or ground is going to explode as it's not the first time. Grounds like to explode Sailing here in this game. Hotel. Yep, something tells me that hotel is gonna be filled okay. with stuff. Zombies, you're in my way. You gotta go. You gotta go. Absolutely. How about I throw that pipe bomb over there? Okay, some of them got destroyed, some of them didn't. You know what, I have this mode, I might as well just use it. There go, let's just destroy this guy real quick. Okay, they dropped lots of goodies. Does my character pick that stuff up? Automatically, maybe, I don't know. Maybe there should be a park where you pick stuff up automatically. Okay, I think we gotta... Oh, we have to hold it. And if I stop holding it, it goes down. There's a zombie behind me, I can hear it! I don't know if I like it though, but that's it, I'm in. Find Dr. Reed. Don't suppose there's a burger joint in here. Okay, it looks like we can go here to the second floor. Okay, let's go for it. There's a zombie. Okay, we gotta go to the third floor now. Hello, and the door is locked, obviously. Oh, I can just beep it. Can you find a gun store in these kind of malls? I'm curious. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Fucking so safe. I actually made it. I mean, you haven't made it yet. Oh, there is a map we can fast travel here. Fast travel map is always good. We'll be able to fast travel wherever. I like it. Okay, let's go through the door. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm here to see Dr. Reed. Oh, you are, huh? You're not here to eat us then. <laughs> I think I've turned vegetarian. <laughs> Comedian, huh? So this they is look Dr. human Reed. to you. Hmm. So, so. Hmm. Well, okay then. Humans can be redeemed. Don't need to waste a bullet on this one. Hey, keep up the good work, Denise. Okay, I hey, don't really know if I'd want to come in Reed, here. But you can call me Ruben. Let's talk in my office. We spoke on the radio about the vaccine. Yeah, yeah, shh, shh. Walk with me. I'm glad you made it. Really glad, but we gotta keep your specialness on it down low. If you really are what we've been looking for, then... CDC is going to want to talk to you. So Doctor, he doesn't want to take his shot. Ah, hey, Luther. Hey, don't worry. It's just going to pinch a bit. Let's keep walking. Where was it? You just um, put in the CDC's needle in and out. That's CDC. it. Right, right, right. The CDC is going to. Hey, hey, hey. I, to I told you to stay off that foot. You want me to cut it off? <laughs> come on. Hey, come this way. Huh? Now. So far, I like Dr. Reed, but I don't know if I trust so him. So glad you're here. Now, they're going to send a chapter to pick you up and take you to Colorado. Just you. So, I don't want my people here getting hope when they when they got none. You understand? Nice to feel wanted. What about all the rest of you? Oh, we'll be okay. <laughs> Fall over nine times and you, you, you get up ten. That's what I always say. But you, you got a miracle in your blood. If we can get you to Colorado, oh, humanity has a chance. Okay. I want to save everybody, so, though. Uh, when does the chopper arrive? Well, I need to let them know you're Dad. here first, and then I, yeah. We're out of food. We need to sweep those apartments before someone else cleans no, no, them no, out. No, no, we gotta put that on hold. This person here is our new priority. Hey, I'm Ryan. They're more important than people starving? Yeah. I mean, no, I mean, kind of. I can't really talk about it right now, but... That's we... fine. Look. You stay here. I'm gonna go with these guys. Hey, we'll hey, be back soon. Hey, you do not go outside without me. They can handle it. Hey, Doc, you know we ran out of food. What's the plan? <sighs> Dad! I am not a little girl anymore. I have to do my share. Yeah. Obviously, you've lost your mind. There are terrorists oh, out just there. Just let her go, you... Doc. She wants to be Jimmy, part of the team. Jimmy, I am talking to my daughter. I'm okay? sick of talking. Jimmy's right. I need to do something. After all that's happened, you think I'm gonna let you out of my sight? Oh, I'm come... gonna let you. Turn into one of them like your mother. Oh. <sighs> Tisha, I'm sorry, but I. I can't lose you two. You're right, Dad. I shouldn't put this on you, it's not fair. She's still gonna go. Well, okay then. Me and you, we both know See you that. Later. Yeah. Yeah, this is no place for human beings. Hey, Doc, a word of advice. You want to stay top dog? You let your daughter take her chances just like everyone else. Jimmy, I have got enough things to be focusing on without your bullshit. Sure. Yeah. I'm gonna go for a smoke. Yeah, you do that. 
the fuck you looking at? <laughs> Your shirt. <laughs> Brave choice. <laughs> I need to radio CDC, but I don't want to draw too much attention to you. Yeah, so, look, you make yourself at home, and I should have some good news soon. Sure. I right? don't like a single a person crash. here. I am totally whacked. I don't know if I trust any of them. So now they'll fly me to <sighs> CDC. And then I While woke up, the rest of them starve here. Yeah, we've gotten a new ability here. You were infected and now you've unlocked your first skill card tainted by autophage. Equipping more autophage skills moves you towards higher tiers of autophage infection. Autophage skills provide some of the most potent bonuses in the skill deck, but there is always a trade-off. Autophage skill, maim zombies to build fury. Don't lose focus, taking damage will drain fury. I mean, I can probably equip it. Okay, so autophage tier one, basically you'll have reduced toughness and autophage tier two, reduced stamina regeneration and on autophage tier three no health regeneration reduce health regeneration from med kits and other stuff okay it's not that bad then i guess so it's kind of weird those people are starving and obviously we'll probably have to help them out okay. get an update on dr reed's plans for your evacuation to cdc colorado Sorry, okay he's not there where is Someone he got sick i need to tell him about bob we need to tell him about bob what happened to bob will ruben be back soon Fucking better be. Bob's taking way too long. Who's Bob? Janitor for this place. If you tried taking a shower, you'd know the water's out. Bob went to get it back on. I could take a look while I'm waiting. Are my ears working? Did someone just offer to help out? That would be great. We won't last long without fresh water. Bob was headed for the janitor's office, downstairs behind the stores. Okay, I'll see what happened. Okay, let's you help all of them out. Well, we have to go outside. We have to look for Bob the janitor in his office downstairs. I'll just jump over here. And I'll see what's up. Bob, I'm coming. I'll help you out. Wait, I've also gotten different weapons, right? I've uh, repaired some of them. Perhaps I can disarm the trap. I think I've already disarmed it. But I'll still be careful. I'll take a look around. Okay, I'll steal some goodies. We've got a uh, note for Bob. The oh, there's something up here. Got it. Okay, that's the code. Short term memory still functioning. Then code is 12750366. See you on the other side. Oh, there we go. There's the. I just so need to open looks it. Like the main valve is in the boiler room off the basement parking lot. Guess Bob went there. So to go down, I just go here. Understandable. This game doesn't have enough red lights because, as you can see in red lights, it, it, it creates a very nice atmosphere. It looks amazing. There's a storage box. I don't even know what I got from that storage box. I got something. A good weapon, perhaps. I'm kind of curious if these... We've gotten some blades, okay. I'm kind of curious if these create scale with our level. So let's say if I go back to the beginning areas and I use my fuse box... Will I get my level weapons or will I get level like two level one weapons? Probably they scale with my levels. Okay, this parking garage reminds me of Resident Evil 2. Oh no, there is a crusher. I'm sorry, crusher. So here in this underground parking garage, there were lots of zombies. We fought all of them and for some reason the recording started lagging here, but everything's fine now. So let's open the door and let's go lower. Clear these out so I can get Bob back safely. Yep. Oh uh, no, there's a screamer then. That's it. I'm going in the boost mode. I'll deal with a few of those screamers. Wow, those screamers are pretty strong, aren't they? We need to absolutely level up because my katana here is only at level 14 and we are level 16, so we should get here a bit better weapons. Okay, there are only a few more zombies left, so I can just use whatever weapons here. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's Bob! He died! No! No! I did not say not for that. I'm sorry, Bob. And you absolutely need to get better weapons. Because whatever we have here, that's not enough. How about I throw the small atop at you, mate? There we go. We just destroyed Bob. We've gotten a different sorry, weapon here. Wrench! 322 damage! Okay. Base damage. This wrench is awesome. Can I equip it right now? Yes, I mean, it's a heavy weapon, obviously, but I want it. This is going to be a very useful weapon. Hopefully, let's see how it at least looks like. There we go. This is the wrench. Oh, it's pretty fast. It's not a heavy weapon. It's good. This might be our new good weapon. Get the water back on. 
Okay. So we have it. Ooh. Maybe I do need a shower. Maybe. Ooh. <laughs> it's pretty nice. Isn't it? Tell Denise Bob won't be coming back. I'm good at telling bad news here. Okay, so let's tell them what's going on and hopefully we'll find here a traitor. There's always a traitor. We have to find one. Bob Welcome. won't be coming back. I figured. But I got the water back on. Oh yeah? I'll be the that new helps. Bob. That helps. A lot. You know, there's plenty of other folks missing. A whole bunch of them on the notice board over there. Wow. Maybe I'll take a look. Ruben's back in his office. You wanted him, right? Yeah, thanks. Okay, before I go there, though, where is a trader? I assume this is going to be the trader. Welcome, a doji, dogi? I'm sorry for butchering your name, mate, but hey, we need to buy... Oh, that's a new throw ball. I mean, I'll buy it. It's a new probably curveball, an explosive device, whatever, let's go. I got probably a new curveball. We can buy finally a new pistol. We can buy some fuses. All right, so I sold some stuff and I think we absolutely need to buy this pistol as I still don't have one, so we need to buy it. Plus this is going to be a superior level. So let's buy this pistol. Oh wait, it's free, it costs zero. Lots of these weapons cost zero. What did I do? I got free weapons, baby. I'll get all of that stuff for free. Why not? Everything's free, I'll get it. Why is it all free? Now I can sell that stuff back to them, but I'm not probably gonna do that. Okay, I've gotten a new curveball, that's good. So I've sold a bunch of loot, now we have 24,000 cash. I've also upgraded some of my weapons, so now they have more damage. I matched the level with this katana, so now it does 349 damage. I don't have enough of the resources to upgrade some of my weapons to even higher levels, but that's fine. Now let's hop into this office here and let's talk to hey, the Ruben. doctor. Hey, there you go. I keep the eyes shut. 12 hours, no light, okay? Good news then? Uh, not really. The CDC isn't calling the shots anymore. The military have taken command and they won't extract you until they have proof of your immunity. What the fuck? They're just so paranoid about the virus escaping from L.A. They know they can't contain it if it gets out. So what, we send a video of zombies chewing on me? Nothing quite so crude as that. But we have to test you. But my equipment is at the CDC HQ by Santa Monica Beer. And I was looking forward to a drink at the bar. Okay, I'll go. Oh, oh I, I don't know. I don't think you should go alone. It's okay. I am immune. I can look after myself. I... Hey. We fell over. We have to get up again, right? Right. Tell them I'll be back. With proof. Okay. I still think that these people here are very nice. I don't want anything bad to happen to them. Dropkick attacks ignite zombies, but they also drain your health. So I don't really know if I want it. I love dropkicks, but drop kicking to reduce my health Ooh, makes no sense well we gotta go outside i've also gotten here these different weapons i've sold my other claws i don't know if these weapons are better or not but i have them now for those who didn't know you can fast travel and choose the time of day or night but i can't really change the time today in this location so i think we need to like beat this location fully and only then we'll be able to change the time to day but you know what i'm not scared of some night I mean, I can still dropkick these zombies. Either it's day or night, so I shouldn't be scared of anything. Plus, now I have stronger weapons, so we should be able to deal with those zombies even faster. And it is crucial to keep upgrading your Back weapons. Into the oh, film. there we go. I love going in the sewers. <laughs> Let's go. So, as I was saying, it is important to keep upgrading oh, your weapons because zombies stripper, keep... she said. See the world, she said. Okay. Break into a zombie-infested CDC ghost town and test your blood, she said. So as I was saying, if I won't upgrade my weapons, those zombies get CDC too strong. Okay, let's open that up. CDC now I'm ready. Okay, hazmat armor. They are I have a pistol. In a puddle with not a fucking care. Okay, look at this. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Look at this. We have an awesome pistol. Plus, it's not even upgraded fully yet as I don't have enough items for it. I need now more loot, so I'll try to loot everything I can. Okay, there is this canister on it that cost a goop. Except it doesn't really do anything. Okay, let's get the zombie a few more times. Yeah, this pistol is awesome. Plus, I've also upgraded the rifle here. Oh, they are not immune. Okay, that's great. Whoa, that zombie's flying. 
So now this rifle does more damage because it was only at level 10 and we were fighting level like 17 zombies with a level 10 rifle. The caustic zombies dead. Now it's a lot easier because seriously, when I was fighting those zombies with like level 13, 15 weapons and they were like level 17, like you could really feel that. Okay, let's get back to my different weapons that I've gotten. There we go. We have this wrench here. And it's not that bad. There we go. Now I can see that we are doing some real damage here. And also these zombies do a ridiculous amount of damage. It might look like we have 1200 health, but when they bite, sometimes they do like four or 500 damage, sometimes 600 damage. They're insane. They do a lot of damage. It's like, it's, it's as if we are playing on hard mode difficulty here. I love it. Okay, what is One this? One million unaccounted for? You poor dumb bastards. They were hiding underground the whole damn time. One million unaccounted zombies? Okay, that's understandable. That's what even that doctor said. So lots of zombies in the sewers. A autophage. Autophage. Is that what they're calling it? Autophage, what we know. Bloodborne. Okay, so maybe they know that there are immune people already. Maybe, I have no idea. Well, we'll figure it out. But also... Or it's way out of a body bag. Oh. oh. Nice. But as Relax. I was saying, Sam B doesn't have that autophage ability or something. Unless he did have it and I've just forgotten about it. I'm sorry, it's been a while since I've played Dead Island 1. Diagnosis know your good. symptoms. What about the dead? The dead piled high in body bags. And I can also add this mod to this weapon. Let's add it. It's a special mod, unstable. Land a critical hit for a chance to trigger an explosion on impact. Let's get it. Getting real bad vibes here. Yep. Me too. It looks like somebody broke out and killed all of them. Are you dead? Yes, you're dead. I'm gonna take out that battery because I feel like I'll need to take it out. I don't trust anything in this place. Okay. Get scared. Whatever ripped its way out of that morgue rack came down here and ripped its way through the staff. But how these doors are locked? Did that monster just open that stuff up, like, nicely? I don't know. Oh no, they're coming out of nowhere. Can I throw some grenades? Okay, hazmat walker. Okay, so there weren't that many zombies. We're almost done dealing with all of them. I like this weapon that we have here. This wrench is pretty decent. It's fast, it's strong. And most importantly, we have upgraded it. <laughs> so it's good. And it has that special mod that can look at it, that can sometimes explode those zombies. Okay, let's open that up and let's go over here. Enter the main dome. I am ready to fight whatever boss that we find there. So I am absolutely ready to... Smash whoever is going to appear here. Okay, I'm ready to deal with them. Ah, no power. Of course there's no power. There's never power. <laughs> no power, no key card, no fuse. Uh, let's drop that here. Okay, let's get rid of the cost of goop so that we can run there easier. Let's loot the trash bin. Can't go. Oh, there we go. That's how we start the power. Use the blood sampler. Good evening, Dr. Dorian. Please enter your authorization code. You have one attempt remaining. Ah! A code? Come on, this is the 21st... Uh, can I just, you know, rip out an eye or hack off a thumb or a nose or... <laughs> or a nose. Hey, okay. how do I find this Dr. Dorian? Hmm. Dorian was working on specimen type echo. Okay, let's find Dorian. So Where's that specimen the echo? Screamy ones. Dorian must have been dissecting one. Okay, so we need to find a screamy zombie. Got his code. Let's see, we got the code okay, now. Go. We just we have to walk power. around. What do you want me to do with this thing? You should see a circular opening big enough to stick your arm into. Okay, I see it. So, stick your arm into it. I can hear zombies behind me. Done. Now what? It's got my arm. Just relax. It has to keep you steady so we can take the sample safely. <laughs> yeah, of course. Come on, come on. Will I lose my arm here? No, I didn't. Sounds like you're done. Now, the sample will dispense from the side. Got it. Are there worm-like things wriggling around in it? What? 
<laughs> Kidding. We're good. You are really <laughs> not helping, Doc. Okay. That was a good joke. <laughs> Worm like things. Look at this. As soon as we enter this door, someone's gonna appear here and we know it. Shit. Oh my goodness. Riot zombie. Oh, critical hit. That's it. We destroyed all of them. Okay, Ruben. Heading back. Whoa, not so fast. I still need the equipment to perform the analysis. It's called a blood drive. Looks like a laptop. Oh, sure. Where do I get Want it? Some milk? Some bread? A fruit basket, maybe? This looks okay. nice. Where is it? Hopefully at the lifeguard HQ. I sent someone to retrieve it from the pier, but lost contact. Okay, so we got a mind-blowing perk. There are some other perks for other weapons that we have. Okay, cool. I'll take a look. Okay, so now we have to find that blood drive for the lifeguard HQ. Okay, this place is cool. I'm curious to see how this place looks during the day. That's why I said it's nice to kind of play during the night. As then when you're back in the day, it looks a lot more pretty. I know these zombies are crawling out of the sand. I was supposed to buy a pistol a long time ago, but I'm just glad that at least we have it now. Okay, time to go through the door. Welcome. Oh, uh, yeah. Of course. Steel pipe. Zombie whales. <laughs> zombie whale. I was like, what is that sound? I'm excited to meet a zombie whale. Explode, sir! Wow, took a while for that dude to explode. Maybe that's a real whale. Not just a zombie whale. And more loot. A basic crowbar that we can sell later on. Okay, the door is locked. Can't open it yet. Feels like a boss okay. area or something. These huge guys. Do about you guys. Well, I'll have to destroy them. That's what I'll have to do. That's probably the best way to get them. I mean, this pistol isn't that bad. Whoa. Pistol does 500 something damage. Okay, a few more shots and we'll deal with this guy. The pistol's pretty good. Okay. I'm still alive. Yes, indeed. Still alive, still kicking. I'm alive, kicking, kicking zombies. And just kicking in general. Oh, there's, there we go. Somehow, some way I've gotten here. That was a bit sloppy. Interesting, weird. I don't know. What's up here? Enough with the whales already. That's the quest. We need to maybe figure out what's going on. What are those whales? Oh, whale song. We have to deactivate it. Oh, that's what's up. No one here. I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna take it out, right? Right. Just be careful. The pier was locked down, but Bundy had the key. Try to find him. Bundy, got it. Okay. And we are level 17. So now we have to track down Dr. Bundy at the pier. Happy thoughts. Happy thoughts. Okay, I'm gonna throw oh, a pipe bomb. Did the real Bundy, please stand up. Sure. Oh, oh that is Bundy. Hey, Bundy. Whoa. Whoa, what's up, mate? Okay, how about I go in the fury mode? Okay, let's try to attack this schmuck real quick. Wow, the dude just slapped me. The dude slapped me again! I think I just destroyed that guy. Okay, I'm ready to get that key card. Thanks, mate. I'll need to craft more bullets once we get a crafting table. Okay, find my way to the end of the pier. Get the stupid laptop. Get the fuck out of here. Great idea, in my humble opinion. Obviously, if nothing goes wrong, Ocean Park. I'm happy to be here. What happened? What the hell was that? I have no clue. I'm getting some more of those flashbacks, what? whatever they are. Not okay. flashbacks, You're but a the creepy motherfucker. I get it. Well, fuck Is that me. the zombie that, that makes me feel that way? Uh, okay. Well, I'll have to go through here then. I just saw a weapon and I wanted to get it. Find a way through arcade. Oh, cool. I used to love arcades. They better have a time splitters machine. Oh, I gotta get the power. Wait, do I really want to power on the arcades and play here? My dude has set his priorities straight. <laughs> My dude knows that games are important. Oh, there's something in that crate. Perhaps a cool weapon. Brass knuckles, 310 damage. Pretty good brass knuckles. Okay, we probably gotta go this way. A shotgun trap. Yikes. 
<laughs> did not appreciate that shotgun trap. At least I didn't die. These those shotgun traps don't do insane amount of damage. We've gotten a new card. Hold Q in Fury mode to vomit caustic bile on unsuspecting zombies. I want to check this out. Oh, there we go. Control panel. Great. No labels. Not ideal. Oh, screw this. <laughs> oh my goodness. Nope. That's oh. not what he does! Ooh. There we go, we just activated the power. How did you even know that one of those I'm buttons sure activates the power? Fine. At least I got the power on. Yeah. Hey, quit following me, okay? I am... Uh, I taste like ass! Oh my goodness, there's another screamer. And this screamer is immune! And my weapons only do that kind of special whatever damage. Okay, my fury is ready. Let's deal with the zombies really quick then. I just vomited on top of those zombies, didn't I? I have no clue what's going on, I just vomited on them. What's wrong? You guys run out so of So I got quarters? all of them. Destroyed all of them. So yeah, Fury Mode is definitely useful. Like, I think you can beat the game without the Fury Mode, but it makes these kind of encounters easier when there are like a bunch of zombies in one spot and just go in Fury Mode and just smash all of them. And I can't be the only one, but this game reminds me more of Doom than of Dead Island 1. <laughs> I mean, both oh, of them. It's like Dead Island that. 1 and Doom it's a massive combined together. Clusterfuck. Head to the Ferris Wheel. I mean, why wouldn't I go to the Ferris Wheel? I don't really know if I like Ferris Wheels. I've never been on one. way forward is through the wheel. Get okay. until I stop the wheel. So we have to stop the wheel. Line jumpers, kill them all. What? They don't know that they gotta wait in line. No. Okay. I need to remove electric bullets from my guns because they're not good at all. I can't shoot now this guy. Cause there's always a buff dude. And every time you fight them, you can hear that there's a fun soundtrack playing on the background. That's what I'm talking about. This game is fun. Okay, I dealt with all of them, probably. There's just one walker. There we go, got him. Got him. Got him. Anger management. I've got an anger management achievement. Yeah. Stay there. Oh, back to searching the dead guy's pockets. Okay. I really wish we could just walk over that stuff and we would pick everything up automatically. Because there's lots of loot to click. And we just have to keep spamming F. Maybe there is an easier way to pick all of that stuff, but there should be auto pickup, maybe. Maybe. At least in later stages in the game. Booyah. Oh, we've gotten keys. More keys. We found the keys. Alright, so it's time for us to stop the Ferris wheel. Clamber through the Ferris wheel. I am ready for it. I guess. I, I knew that this is gonna happen. Well... Uh, I guess one ride won't kill me. Uh, maybe it will. Shit again. Well, I've never. Is that a? What? Is that a fucking clown? Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> it's not a clown. It's an entire circus. Uh, hey, uh, this isn't funny. Uh, uh, oh shit! Well, why is it after me? Who is it? Whoa. I mean, we're searching for Brian or for whoever that dude is. Maybe that is him. Climb it on the bride! Okay, I've done a pretty great job of defending myself. So I've never ridden a Ferris wheel in real life, but at least I've ridden it here. This would suck. It wasn't even that high. It wasn't that tall. Get the blood drive from the end of the pier. Except something hey, tells me we'll have to fight with there. that clown. So go fuck yourself sideways, you red-nosed son of a bitch! Oh, the fucker, this whole place is held together by ash. So yeah, we've left that place, and now we're trying to go here. I don't know if I trust this place. But I don't think I have another choice, do I? Hey, you? No. No, I said sideways. Fuck yourself sideways. <laughs> I love this character. He's awesome. Those snarky remarks that he says. 
they're great. I like him. He's fun, he's happy. Like, he's never upset, he's never complaining, right? There's no drama in this game, it's just fun. It is just fun, and I like it. That's why this game is different. Sometimes, all you need is just to be fun, and that's it. Not everything has to be extremely serious, right? Absolutely right. Oh, hey. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's talk. I, I just need this laptop thing. You know, kind of important, then I'm out of here. Okay? <laughs> okay. I don't think that guy's gonna listen to you. Let's be honest. I wouldn't. If I was that clown. All bodies dragged in here. Well, that looks like a laptop to me. Where do you see it? Where do you see the laptop? Oh, there we go. There's the laptop. Can't take anything anyways here. Might as well scrap some of that garbage. There we go. Let's get the laptop. This must Said be I'm ready it. to fight. Uh, the glamorous life of a hero. Ugh. Ready to fight. Ready to fight okay. that clown. What do we got here? You are my ticket out of here. Oh, Am I trying to on. hack the password? Seriously? This fucking funny fucker again? No! Imagine I just died like that. That's it. Game over. Oh, man. He's not eating me alive because I'm somewhat of a zombie myself, aren't I? Oh, you motherfucker! No, no, no! Get off me! Get off me! Of course, that laptop is so strong. Okay, that's it. That dude is fast! That dude is strong! I mean, I can fight with these things as well. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Whoa! I need to kind of heal up. That guy has so much health. I kid you not. Whoa, and he's immune to what? To electricity? Okay, where did that clown go? Where on earth oh, are you going? Off. You're regenerating? Probably. Oh no, there are more zombies. The dude spawned some schmucks. Okay, will I survive this? Okay, can I deal with this? Oh my goodness. Don't die, don't die, don't die. The dude's basically out of health. Oh my goodness. Took probably 20 minutes to get him. My hands are still even shaking. Oh my goodness. This is the hardest boss I've ever fought in this game. Whoa! Okay, we've gotten here a skillful metal bat. Let's get that. I'm sure I must have been doing something wrong, but it was really hard to dodge that guy as he would do a bunch of attacks and uh, yeah, it was hard to time everything properly. That was a really hard boss fight. Like, as I said, it probably took me about 20 minutes of fighting him, maybe Ruben, more, maybe less. I have no copy? idea. Hey, do you have it? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Thanks. <laughs> well, obviously. I need you and that tag back here ASAP. Okay. World to save. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Copy that. I don't- I wouldn't want to fight that boss ever again, but- And the biggest problem is that the game doesn't save. So if you die, you have to start all over again. And plus, my weapons broke. I had to use these weapons, and they were really great. Without those weapons, I would have probably Finally, died. Things are going my way. <laughs> okay, that is not ideal. I couldn't fast travel. Of course. Of course. <laughs> I don't even try to run away, I just accept it. Time to go! Come on, come on! What? And it's you! And it's you! And it don't die! Okay! Whoa! Maybe it would have been easier if I had just jumped in the water earlier. Well, I'm alive. That's good to know. 
I washed up on the beach. Uh, uh, oh, I hope it's waterproof. <sighs> How did I still have it? Dude, my hands are still shaking from that boss fight. It wasn't like that boss fight was extremely unique or anything. The boss kept doing the same thing all over and all over again. The boss didn't have any stages, it's just that I knew if I die, I'll have to restart all over again. And check this out, I found a secret room, so let's add a fuse. Oh, wow. No, there is still stuff. Okay, so that's it, I think the fire has stopped. We can go and loot this place safe. Oh my goodness, you're here. Okay, destroyed them. Finally, we'll get some chemicals because I was running out of these things. And there we go, there's a special crate. Let's open it up. Officer sword, 310 damage. I'll get it. Why not? Okay, Dr. Rita's gonna be waiting here. Hey, oh shit. You Ezekiel, friendly? welcome. If you're not I trying guess. to bite me, then I'm friendly too. Name's Ezekiel. People call me Zeke. Seeing as we're all stuck out here. Oh, traitor! Welcome, mate. Can buy more fuses. How many fuses I can buy? Three fuses? Well, let's buy three fuses. There we go. I bought all of them. So we are back at the hotel and we have done an insane amount of progress today. This game keeps getting better and better. And we will talk to the doc in the next episode. So subscribe to not miss that video. And I highly suggest you check it out my Dead Island 1 Let's Player. Click here on the second card and you'll get my Dying Lie 2 Let's Player. Hop over to my channel, go to playlist, and there you'll find a lot of other games that are played here on the channel. If you're not subscribed yet, definitely make sure to jump the subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos. And consider following me on Instagram or Twitter at Epicyric. Mm-hmm. Yep.